People are taking a stand against Putin here at home, too. Russian immigrants to Texas going to the capital and protesting the rogue leader. 25 News in-depth reporter Nick Bradshaw has more. Signs outside the state capitol showing that Russia is not for this war. Stay away from Ukraine. Stay away from Ukraine. Stay away from Ukraine. Stay away from Ukraine. It's really, really sad, and I feel so angry that um, Putin is making these things under Russian flag. Texas, over 6,000 miles from the Ukraine border. But we're we're not Putin, and we are not supporting his uh, uh, actions. Russia bombarded yesterday and in the night, and this morning, the historical center of Kharkiv. And these are the photos. This is what war looks like. Children in pain. There's so much grief, there's so much pain. Again, despite what, uh, what the government is claiming from the state news uh, channels. Texas is now home, but Oleg was born in Moscow, Russia. Your family back in Russia. Yes. How worried are you about them? Uh, very much so. We don't identify ourselves with, uh, with his uh, rule of law and with his type of rule. He is a dictator, for sure. For the group raising their voice. It's a sign of freedom. I am originally from Dominican Republic, but I grew up in Russia and I used to live in Ukraine. And my uh, son born in Ukraine, so I basically like spent big part of my life in these territories. Willie Wilson know, a former MTV host. What did you host? MTV, uh, it was a TV show Mombasa. It was the first show about hip hop music, about black music in general. Most of people who know in the media and they have some opinions, or they, like say, let's say public people, they're not allowed to say anything. That's why I believe every American, every American should know what's going on and should know and should understand what our government and what we, like a people, can do to stop this madness. Over three million Russian Americans live in the U.S. We against the war. Only one thing I can do is just speak. Speak and don't, don't keep silent. When you talk about uh, life in Russia, for the majority of people, who are not connected and uh, receiving money from the government or stealing money from the people, you know, we're not really living, we're surviving. Freedom of speech in some difficult times. People deserve freedom. People need freedom. I'm Nick Bradshaw reporting.